Welcome to your community. This is your hometown. This is Walton Entertainment. This is where you can hear from the community and those making a difference. We explore topics, local festivals, arts and entertainment, and local news. For this program and much more, visit us online at yourlocalstream.com. That's yourlocalstream.com. Hi, this is Jody Johnson. I'm here with the Recreation Report, and uh, we're glad to see that spring is sprung, as they say. Uh, the weather is changing, and uh, it's getting a lot warmer. People are wanting to get outside. Uh, athletically, we have a lot of uh, our athletic program. Our basketball program is, is complete. Our seven, eight-year-olds did compete in the GRPA state tournament. Uh, unfortunately, they, uh, they played a couple of close games, but uh, fell short. Uh, represented Walton County well, so we're proud of them. But uh, our basketball season has concluded. Uh, it means our spring sports programs, our opening day is coming up uh, March 27th. We'll start uh, that Saturday and uh, the, uh, we'll be playing out at West Walton Park and at Crystal Park where our baseball and softball programs and then they'll uh, play up until around uh, Easter, the, the Thursday before Easter and then we'll take off for spring break and then we'll come back and play uh, around April uh, 11th or so through the middle of May. Uh, will be all our baseball and softball program. Our soccer program will also start that day and play pretty much the same schedule. Uh, we also have a track team. We have about uh, 40 kids that are doing track here at the Old Mineral High Schools where they practice, uh, and then they run meets all over uh, North Georgia. Uh, so all of our sports, our spring sports, are, are going well, and uh, the weather is starting to cooperate, even though uh, as we're filming, we're having those uh, pop-up storms, but uh, I think spring and the warm weathers are just around the corner. So, uh, and, and we have noticed that a lot of people are getting out to our parks. I know the uh, Meridian Park in Loganville around the uh, uh, Meridian Park Lake, the, uh, there's a lot of people that are walking there. People are getting out to Felker and Crystal Parks and walking those walking trails. So we invite you to go to our website at waltoncountyga.gov and uh, go to a park near you. There's a lot of activities that you can do at those facilities, uh, especially outside, whether it's playing one of our Frisbee golf courses out at Criswell. Uh, I believe there's still one at Matthews Park, and then there's one over at, uh, we're, we're constructing a couple more at uh, Meridian Park and at our new park in between. So uh, play Frisbee golf. Join one of our uh, athletic classes that we, or the aerobics classes that we have. It's a great way to get in shape and uh, get that, uh, um, get ready to go to the beach. You, know, you want to get out there and exercise and get that, uh, few extra COVID pounds off. So it's a great way to do that as well. Very inexpensive to join our community center. It's only $2 per week per family and that gets you reduced prices for those classes as well. We have a refit class, we have Zumba classes, um, we sometimes have some yoga classes that are going on. So there's all kinds of stuff that uh, you can do to stay in shape and have fun and socialize. I know we all have to stay uh, six feet apart and uh, you know can't socialize, but this is a good way to, to get out and have a good, fun, safe, uh, way to, to, to get in shape and stay healthy uh, here in Walton County. So we have a lot of great parks for you, a lot of great athletic programs for you to come. We're always looking for volunteers, always looking for umpires. If you're interested in doing that, it's a great second job uh, for anyone who wants to do that, make decent uh, hourly wage uh, for doing ball games and baseball and softball, soccer. So we're constantly looking for that as well. So uh, give us a call if you're interested in that. We'll get you trained and uh, then you will be able to go right in and start doing ball games. Uh, a couple of new projects that are going on here in Walton County. Uh, glad to say we are making some uh, small and uh, final improvements on the park in between. Uh, we should open up around May 1st. Uh, we'll have two different seasons for our Splash Park. Maybe I'll, uh, you know, closer to uh, May, I'll do an entire episode just on uh, how you can join the Splash Park. Uh, but we'll have our uh, times that will be open when we're at peak season or non-peak season when school is in and then our peak season or hours when school is out. Uh, so that'll be the, the way that the Splash Park will work. So we'll be open nights, uh, a few nights and weekends on uh, what we call non-peak when school is in. And then once school lets out, we'll start opening up um, during the day as well. Uh, we'll also have the facility uh, available for uh, private rentals in the evening around 6 to 8 for any birthday parties or uh, reunions or just get-togethers. 
Uh, so that will be uh, out there for you as well. Um, we are going to be charging admission to come to this, this splash park, but it, again, it'll be a um, very small amount, between 2 and $3, something like that. Um, there's locker rooms, showers. Uh, we'll have a small concession stand set up there, so it's going to be a great place to uh, to come and get it out of the heat because it will be coming before we know it. Uh, we'll need that. It's a nice um, zero level, no standing water, basically playground that the water will splash around, shoot around through little small water cannons and uh, big dump barrels. and um, So we'll have that going uh, starting in May, the first of uh, uh, first one that we have in Walton County. So we're really looking forward to uh, our grand opening May 1st. Second project that we have that's um, really moving quite quickly is the South Walton Community Center, um, which is a single gym and offices and a couple of community rooms. Uh, it's a beautiful facility that we're building in South Walton, the, uh, right across the street from the park. In addition to uh, the gymnasium, the offices and all that adjacent to it, we have a uh, fishing pond that will be uh, restocked uh, once the, uh, the dam is, is fixed back to so it'll hold water and then there'll be a uh, walking trail that's going around that as well so another nature trail and uh, community center and uh, workout equipment so it's another location for folks to to utilize um, in that end of the county so we're looking forward to those those two projects coming to a fruition we probably won't be finished with the South Walton Community Center until around October to November of next uh, of this year so um, you know it's still got a ways to go but it is going up fast if you ride down Fair Play Road you'll see the blocks being uh, put together um, and, and the crews are moving pretty quickly so um, that'll be ready in October November uh, for us to uh, to enjoy and utilize and to, to get in shape with. So that's really what we have going on here at the uh, Recreation Department right now. We're really getting prepared for all of our game activities, even though the teams have been practicing now for about three weeks. We're getting ready for them to, uh, to start actually playing games and uh, looking forward to that. Uh, it's always a fun time uh, for the seasons too uh, when you have that traditional opening day on a Saturday and you have all the teams out in their brand new uniforms, you have picture day. So it's a great time. I would uh, recommend anybody coming out to either one of the parks uh, that weekend and see some great uh, some great baseball with all of our rec teams. We have close to uh, around 15, 1,600 kids playing baseball and softball here in Walton County. So we're really fortunate that parents get involved with their kids' lives and want to uh, come out and volunteer. Uh, our staff does a good job of really organizing and laying all those games out. We'll be playing on uh, that Saturday um, around 15 ball fields for just that Saturday. So we've got a lot of games going on from 9 o'clock, 9.30 in the morning all the way up to 3, 4, 5 o'clock that evening. So there's a good long day of, of baseball and softball games going on. So uh, as always, I just want to remind you that uh, sportsmanship starts at home and uh, please uh, come see us at the parks. See you soon. Thanks. Hi, I'm Ashley Dykes, the Executive Director of Project Renewal. Are you a victim of domestic violence or do you know someone that is? Please contact our crisis line at 770-860-1666 or visit our website at projectrenewalgeorgia.com to find out more information about the programs that we offer. We are a 24-hour seven day a week crisis line and emergency shelter and we also offer outreach services if you do not need immediate shelter please if you are in need of assistance please reach out to us again the phone number is 770-860-1666 thank you hi welcome to member of walton center for the arts uh, when you see this, we will be having our um, high school student art show uh, in the gallery. It is fabulous. It's, it's in terms of the quality of the artwork, people are always astounded that uh, these works of art are produced by um, high school students, many of them in AP art programs in our county. We have, I say this over and over again, I think we have some of the best art teachers in the state. It's really fabulous and uh, they really draw a lot out of the students. So um, if you want to really see some 
amazing artwork, please do come in to see this, the high school show. It will be here, um, I'm not looking at the date, but I think it'll be here through about April 15th. So do come in to see that. Um, also, we have our updated class list, as always. I uh, wanted to mention our um, art camps will be coming. We will be getting information out about our art camps in April. Uh, that information will be live, hopefully by April 1st. Uh, but we'll have uh, five weeks of art camp in June and July. Nothing in August, but in June and July we'll have five weeks of general arts and also a pottery camp as well. And uh, our, the nice thing about our art camps is uh, they start with our youngest age group that we typically serve. Um, so they start at kids that are five years old and we have them segmented by ages. So um, come on in in April and we'll have the information out about um, our art camps. Um, we also are really excited about the garden tour coming up in May. The tickets for the garden tour will go on sale on uh, in April, on April 1st. Only here you have to come in um, because we're going to give you, go ahead and give you your bracelet, which will be your ticket. So you'll get a, a wrist band uh, custom to us, and you'll get um, the map um, so that you'll be ready and set to go. Um, so the tour is May 15th. Um, that's a Saturday from 10 in the morning till 4 in the afternoon. Uh, we have just amazing gardens for you to see. I think you'll be inspired. Um, you'll see the creativity and hard, hard work that goes into these gardens. Uh, woodland gardens, of course, uh, flowers, borders, hardscapes, you know, the works. Ponds, it's, it's just going to be a gorgeous tour. Um, so that's May 15th from 10 to 4. The tickets go on sale April 1st, only here at the Art Center. You have to come in. Tickets are limited, and when we sell out, we sell out. We're only selling a certain number so that it's not too crowded. So um, come on in, and you can learn more. You can pick these up. Hopefully you'll see these around town about the tour with information on it. And uh, if you have people you can or businesses you can stick these in for us, we'd love that help to get the word out about that. I wanted to say something about um, something that the city has going on. Um, it's a rebranding um, study. It's going to be a year-long event of figuring out how to kind of tell the story of Monroe. They've asked us to share as much as we can to get people to take this survey. And it's real simple. I've done it. It takes just a couple of minutes. But if you go to brandmonroe.com, it's brandmonroe.com. You can take the survey that will help you, um, will give input to the city, um, what you find unique, what you love about our city, uh, even a, a space to tell your story. Um, so they really want as much input as they can get. So if you go to brandmonroe.com, you can fill out the survey and help the city in uh, telling the story of uh, what and who um, Monroe really is. So um, come by, um, get our class list, see the high school show. Uh, in April, you can start buying your tickets for the garden tour. We're so happy to be able to bring that back. Um, and let me see if I'm forgetting anything. Um, I think that's it. We've got a photography class on March 27th. That's a Saturday. It's a digital photography class with Bob Richardson. He's a fabulous uh, photographer. He's written his own manual. This is an introduction to uh, digital photography. Does a great job. I get rave reviews about his class and that's coming up on March 27th. Then we'll be getting our April schedule out when our soiree is. 
I believe it will be April 17th, best I remember. We'll have drop-in workshops, pottery, and some wood turning work workshops coming up. So um, visit us on the web at MonroeWaltonArts.org. Um, come in and say hi. Uh, shop in our kind of renovated shop. Um, and we hope to see you soon. Monroe Country Day School's mission is to inspire every student to have a passion for academic and personal excellence through creative learning, independent thinking, and selfless service to others. Students are exposed to the local community and provided opportunities for independent thinking. What will you do with all the dirt? Some of the dirt you see has been hauled over here because they're going to have to build the finished floor and the elevation of the building so that it's got to have the right kind of soil that will compact and tighten up for the footings of the building. Monroe Country Day School values the whole child. Therefore, we believe in a holistic and integrated approach that involves the development of the student academically, personally, and socially. Monroe Country Day School believes that creative learning produces independent thinking and fosters a love of learning. Excellence is applied to all that we do. We strive to foster students that are pursuing strong academic and personal excellence. Project-based education is integrated into our curriculum. When we go back in the classroom, we need the combined weight of you guys because we've got to figure our uh, bridge, our mass bridge weight ratio, okay? You gotta figure out how much weight it was that finally broke your bridge, okay? We need a scale right. for that. And then on Monday, we're going to redesign. We, we figured out where some of our flaws are. We're gonna spend another week redesigning, all right? Monroe Country Day School offers personalized education that begins with the personal knowledge of each student academically and each student's personal story. We believe that taking personal responsibilities for one's academic and personal choices produces strong, independent, capable, and confident citizens. Students are taught responsibility for self, peers, and community. Through service to one's peers and community, an equipped leader finds personal growth and fulfillment. We facilitate this leadership through providing experiences of service. Respect is the basis for good dialogue, independent thinking, and mutual enjoyment of life lived in community. Monroe Country Day School is designed for families who see the value of educating the whole child. Monroe Country Day School will reach its mission by maintaining small class sizes, offering project-based learning and a high-level curriculum, and by providing service opportunities in an aesthetically pleasing environment. Monroe Country Day School has positioned itself to produce a community of young people who are strong in mind and character and living as contributing members in their community. For more information, please contact Mandy Wellington, Admissions Director at 770-267-8955. Welcome to another edition of Through the Camera. I'm your photographer, Daryl Everidge, and behind me, you can see it's the Ferris wheel here in Atlanta. We're gonna get on top and see how far we can see once we're up there, sky high in Atlanta. So go grab the family, grab a camera, and let's go grab some memories.
so the nurse is kicked in we're we're on the ferris wheel uh they're stopping it every few seconds letting other passengers on so we're one of the first ones to get on so this is going to take a few minutes uh, it goes around four revolutions and each revolution i timed it before i got on is two minutes so you know we're going to be on here for a few minutes while they let people own and off so that adds to the time and uh, we're pretty high up and i'm getting kind of nervous located at the south end of centennial park in downtown atlanta you'll find this giant sky view ferris wheel it's set up to thrill everyone i was a little apprehensive to get on but once the ride started it was amazing this ferris wheel is almost 20 stories high and you get to see all of downtown atlanta and the surrounding area when you're on the very top it's amazing a lot of other street musicians uh, we had a lot of some some positive interactions with the other musicians and some negative uh, we had a we had a negative response from the police at first but eventually they got used to us and and we we've, we've actually befriended a lot of them uh, my friend was playing the the bad boys cops theme and got a lot of uh, you know I guess that won some of the some of the police over but uh um, it's been a pretty interesting experience. It, it's a, it's, it's, it's lucrative. You can, you can make a living off of it. And yesterday, yeah, we made, we made at least two hundred dollars yesterday. day today. Let's take a look back through the photo album. another great adventure thanks for tagging along we've had fun doing all the great things we do every weekend I want to thank you guys for tuning in and watching all these episodes of through the camera till the next time I remind you to grab your family grab a camera and go out there and grab some memories creative artists can offer you a wide range of video production call the experts and discuss your project today whether it's your special event or your company creative artist 770-267-7368. Creative Artists produces this program you're watching. Call Creative Artists today. 770-267-7368. Creative Artists. They'll put you in the spotlight.
Oh, 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 oh,